All right, two of the largest mid-Atlantic region HBCU football teams face off this weekend. You've got DC's historic Howard University Bison taking on the Hampton Pirates of Hampton, Virginia, and it's this Saturday at the Truth and Service Classic at Audi Field. It's a great chance to experience the HBCU game day experience with the bands, the food, mm -hmm. the step teams, and so much more. For more on what to expect is Dr. Angie Gates. Angie is the president and CEO of Events DC. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. This is an exciting time, uh, right? So exciting. <laughs> well, I'm one of those people who haven't been before. So what can people expect? What's the atmosphere like? Well, I expect to see you there on okay. Saturday. <laughs> and I mean, it's, the atmosphere is amazing. It's the battle for the title of the real HU. <laughs> so we're su super excited. I mean, it's the camaraderie. It's, you know, the alumni and the fans just with football coming together. But you get a little bit of everything. It's not only the game itself, but it's the culture and the bands. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Oh, so, I mean, I the imagine. city is going to be turned up and we're going to all be having a good time. <laughs> when you think of the ba the music, just, I mean, the bands, and it's like they're kind of competing too, right? Oh, for absolutely. For who's absolutely. the real HU. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, it's a friendly rivalry, and I've been dealing with it all week. I have staff, Howard grads, HU grads. Uh -huh. So, this has been going on even off the field. But, I mean, it's, it's really an exciting time. And, I mean, we're highlighting academic excellence right. as well as athletic. They yeah. always just look like they have oh, so much fun out there. We've got a lot of eight Howard and Hampton grads here at the station, too, so it's always fun to see the rivalry. But there's been some big names that show up at this game, right? Oh, yes, a lot of big names. I mean, let's just start with our wonderful vice president of the United States of America, Kamala Harris, who's also a Howard you know, graduate, mm -hmm. an alumni. Uh, I know Allison here. Yeah, uh, our Allison, own. Allison is a graduate from Hampton. So it's a lot of big names that, that come out. So it's, it's an exciting time on the field and and off the field but we're, we're super excited and who are the organizations behind the truth and classic or um Truth and event, let's yeah. start with events DC. Yeah. Uh, so we're super excited to be uh, behind this event along with Audi Field and of course Howard University. This Truth and Service Classic started in 2021. Now although the game has taken place going back to 1908, literally the Truth and Service Classic began, you know, we're on this is the third annual event. And so we have gotten behind this and there are activities that's happening before the game and mm -hmm. post game. Like it's one of the biggest social events. But this is something for us to highlight education and the game itself. Yeah. And why is it so important for that highlight? I mean, not just locally for maybe some students, prospective students, but why is it just so important to get that out there? It's important because it's, it's not only a educational institution that we're highlighting these institutions, but it's a lifestyle mm. and it goes beyond the classroom. It goes beyond graduation. Mm -hmm. Like it gives you an opportunity to get a sneak peek of your career. So it's like the classroom aspect with dealing with the universities but it sets you up for your career and it's so accessible for everyone yeah. so you and it's a family fun event but this allows you know our youth and teens to get a sneak peek of what college life is like and this is great for our city you're talking about 20,000 people that's going to be there on Saturday oh and it brings an economic impact of like almost two oh, million yeah. dollars so I mean it, it's a lot yeah it's, it's such a great lot. energy and mm -hmm. speaking of DC what else can we expect uh, coming up from oh we have a lot coming up um, one of the <laughs> great things that we're excited about is because they're funny uh, comedy festival is the inaugural comedy festival coming up October 6th through the 8th the producers nice crowd uh, who also does the black film festival in Miami you know we're showcasing our talent here in Washington DC so we got music sports entertainment we have it all but that's coming up it'll be at the wharf October 6th through the 8th so make sure you visit our website eventsdc.com so awesome. much happening thank you Dr. so Gage. much thank you thank you so much so many great things thank happening you. and for more information about this week weekend's game and upcoming events, visit eventsdc.com.